story at this hour is coming to us from West Bengal, where we saw some dramatic visuals just about an hour ago. Where, led by the state and national leaders, hundreds of BJP supporters took part in a protest in the north area of Bengal, mostly around Siliguri. What they met with then were tear gas shelling, water cannons, even lati charged by the West Bengal police. Now, the BJP says this is a state of utter lawlessness in the state of West Bengal. In fact, their leader going ahead to even say time has come for president's rule to be put in place. Listen in to what Kailash Vijayvargya of the BJP had to say. I understand that this is a crime of the government. And we will not stop until the government will not stop until the government will not stop. We have taken a sankal. We will not stop until the government will not stop until the government will not stop. We are not scared from the gully, we are not scared from the lati, we are not scared from the bomb. We are not scared from the Bengal to save the government, to save the government, to save our lives. There are many police people who are killing police people. And with them, the TMC people, वो भी मिलकर कंट्री बॉम्ब फेंक रहे हैं ये अब चुप बैठने का समय नहीं है संविधान को लोकतंत्र को बचाने का काम पश्चिम बंगाल में हम करना है आप संविधान के प्रति आपकी सच्ची प्रतिबद्धता है तो आप भारतीय जनता पार्टी के इस लोकतंत्र बचाने के लिए जो हमारी संघर्ष है इसके साथ आप भी जुड़ जाइए all right, Monitipa Panerji now joins us live for more on this. Monitipa, some very strong charges being leveled by the BJP, saying some country-made bombs were used by TMC workers. Now, in the visuals that we have, we see protesters and when we see people with a BJP flag sort of uh, confronting the police over there. Take us through how did it all begin? What was this protest all about that the BJP had called for? It was a pre-announced program. The BJP wanted to march to uh, Uttar Kanya, which is the state uh, uh, secretariat up in Shiliguri, which is in North Bengal. So from two different locations in Shiliguri town, <coughs> two processions of the BJP started walking towards Uttar Kanya. The police had set up huge barricades in three layers, very strong bamboo barricades that were even encased in you know, plywood to prevent anybody slipping in. And uh, it's when the BJP Karakartas approached the barricades, started trying to break them down, started trying to climb over them. That's when the police uh, used the water cannons. That's when the police resorted to tear gas. And when some women uh, workers of the BJP came up to the barricades and started untying the ropes so that it would be easier to push the barricades down, that's when the police came out and launched a mild lati charge. After that, it was a free-for-all stone pelting by the BJP workers, police also picking up the stones and hurling them back. Now, I didn't see anybody actually hurl a bomb, but yes, that's what the BJP is claiming, that bombs were hurled as well at the BJP workers. The BJP is claiming that they were hurled by Trinamool workers who were sheltering behind or with the police. At this point, I must mention that one person has died. One person who was at the protest. How he died is not clear, but we've had Dilip Khosh go to the hospital where this 50-year-old man from Jalpaiguri, Ulen Roy, is dead. There will be a post-mortem. There are pictures that are being circulated of Ulen Roy with pellet wounds on his chest. It's quite a horrific sight, actually. And Dilip Ghosh has claimed that they were uh, wounds uh, caused by uh, some kind of guns or bullets that were fired at him. He has questioned who fired the bullets. He has said if the police did not do so, who did? And he has harked back to the time of Nandigram and said this was a Nandigram-like operation so that, you know, party workers mingled with the police and fired at BJP workers. So you can understand the tenor of the whole, you know, BJP campaign against Mamta Banerjee going shriller by the moment. We've had Vijay Vargya, Mr. Vijay Vargya, saying it's time for President's rule. Mr. Tejasvi uh, Surya making the allegations about Trinamool workers hurling bombs at the BJP right. protesters. Quite a chaotic situation.
what we've been told by a Trinamool minister up in North Bengal is that it is criminals brought in by the BJP who created this absolute chaos today. Right. And Monitibha, what is the current situation at the moment? Oh, much calmed down. The police are still on the street. Uh, the barricades are still up. There is some tension, but much calmer. Though, of course, news of the death of that one person has again caused some tension. Mm. There are lots of BJP workers crowded at the hospital where Dilip Ghosh was present a short while ago. Uh, Mr. Ghosh claimed apparently 10 to 15 other BJP workers are also in hospital. So there is some tension over that. But otherwise, the kind of stuff we saw in the afternoon, that for now is over. Right. Last question, Monideep. I just wanted to understand, is there a specific political significance of BJP doing this protest in the north of the state? Uh, how is that to be seen? Well, uh, certainly most important, North Bengal is uh, one area of the state where the Trinamool has never really been able to establish its hold. It has been, in the past, a Congress stronghold or the left stronghold. The Trinamool is not the strongest up in North Bengal. In recent uh, weeks, we have seen a, a Trinamool MLA actually quit the party and join the BJP, Mehir Goswami. The BJP is making inroads into North Bengal. And it did so in 2019 itself. Many of the 18 MPs who won, they were from North Bengal, BJP trying to consolidate its hold. All right. Thank you, Monadipa, for bringing us all sides of that story. Let me take it forward with my guest this evening. We have uh, Tawseef Ahmad Khan. He's a political analyst and is taking the TMC line on the program today. We have Chandra Kumar Bose. He is the former vice president, senior leader of the BJP's West Bengal wing. Let me begin by getting a reaction from the TMC. Mr. Khan, you just heard what my colleague Kamuntipa had to say. BJP has some very strong allegations against your party, saying that this is an utter case of lawlessness. Why were they lati charged and a water cannon in the first place? And then there were some country bombs used by the TMC. We all know that Section 144 has been imposed there. Hmm. And there were police blockade police had police had built the blockade blockade hmm. which the agitators tried to break in and in that attempt this is this entire show that was organized today by bjp it is a public display of violence because they believe that by doing this they will come to power and this is such an unfortunate event that one of the i heard the news from from you only that one of the worker or protester somebody has died hmm. or perhaps is, is is in hospital but this is where bjp must understand that you need to fight democratically you want to take the take over bengal government you want to form government in bengal do that in 2021 electorally See, but Mr. Vote. Khan, can I interrupt not, and not, say this? Not, not Your violence. party has come in strong support of the farmers' protests as well. And therein, you were criticizing the BJP-ruled Haryana government for lati charging them. Are you doing any different? Here, we are facing unruly crowd who are out to disturb the law and order situation in the city. And there, they are the farmers who have traveled hundreds of kilometers and are trying to go inside inside Delhi with a cause and they have a they are protesting against a black law and they want a repeal of that law. And that is a peaceful protest. Here we are dealing with criminal elements. The politics in Bengal today stands divided. The, the, the politics ma mainly in hill areas hmm. stands divided. The hmm. local leaders who were supporting BJP has changed their allegiance. They are now uh, saying that they will support Mamta Banerjee in the coming election. Hmm. And this is the uh, infaction of the BJP. B B BJP is divided among different factions. Okay. And Let the me... only way only sure. way they think that they can come out of it is huh. by, by, by displaying violence, public violence to show that they, and, and which falls in line with what the BJP Bengal chief has been saying in well, the past so many months. Well, violence surely. Repeatedly I, I don't think asking anybody for can... violence. 
I don't think anybody can say there was not any violence there, but who started it all? I think that's the question over here. Let me bring in Chandra Kumar Bose over here. Mr. Bose, uh, your first comment, sad news, really one person has died. We don't have confirmed reports, but we're told apparently because of pellet wounds over here. But as Monitiba was pointing out, BJP chose this area, North West Bengal, where TMC is particularly weak to try and galvanize more support. That is going to be the criticism that will come your way. Today, the entire nation has seen that there has been murder of democracy in the state of West Bengal. You see, a political party has the right to carry out a protest, a peaceful rally, to address a gathering, and that's exactly what Bharatiya Janata Party was doing in North Bengal. Now, we have lost the right to have a rally or you know, tell our people what BJP stands for. We have no democratic rights in West Bengal. First of all, I would like to pay my respect and condolences hmm. to a worker, to a martyr of Bharatiya Janata Party, hmm. who has lost his life in this police atrocity. You hmm. see, the police in West Bengal is being used as a Trinamool Congress carder. They are being used as goons of the Trinamool Congress. Hmm. You see, we go back to the British era when our revolutionaries and freedom fighters used to be yeah, beaten up with Mr. Sticks. Bose, it is the it same is, practice being followed. You know, by can I Trinamool just point Congress. this out to you? Can I just point this out to you? Within hours of these protests, we had the BJP ruled. Uttar Pradesh, where UP police was lati charging Samajwadi party leaders, detaining the former chief minister there. Isn't that also a democratic right to protest? When you say BJP stands for something, this is a clear double speak. There are states in which your party is in power and you're not allowing protests in that state of any other political party. Well, as far as the Uttar Pradesh uh, scenario is concerned, I need to understand the concept here. It is simply atrocity of the police, which is entirely motivated by the Trinamool Congress. I'm sure an investigation should also be done in Uttar Pradesh. Police cannot be used by political parties as their cadre. So that I'm sure BJP, UP and the Honorable Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh okay. won't be able to state exactly what has happened. It is not fair for me to comment. Okay, uh, Mr. Bose, then in the in the West right Bengal side. context, in the West Bengal context, explain this to me. Why are elections in West Bengal so heated, almost so bloody? We've seen so many deaths being reported in the run-up to the local body elections. Now in the run-up to the state elections as well. Why does this keep happening in West Bengal? You see, the people of West Bengal, they are coming out in full support of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Now, this has caused a state of paranoia among the Trinamool Congress leaders. But workers of TMC there, have lost their lives is, as well. No, no. There is, you see, of course, the workers are actually the sufferers. The people who are the booth-level workers, the bundle-level workers, they are actually the supporter, uh, sufferers. But I would like to ask the Trinamool Congress, why this paranoia? They are very much in the government. The elections in the assembly would be held in 2021. So at that time, the people of West Bengal would use their franchise, would vote for the right person, the right people. Why this paranoia? There is still four months left for state elections. Well, you call now, it paranoia, but the TMC is saying BJP is indulging in the politics of guns and goons. And looking at the pictures that we have right now, or in fact, just to context, a big picture into how things have panned out in West Bengal, one cannot deny that there has been a lot of bloodshed. Of course, we have lost 120 political activists of the Bharatiya Janata Party. They have been butchered by the Trinamool Congress. And with the assistance and help of the police, you see, the police has to be completely unbiased. It's unfortunate that they are being utilized by the uh, West Bengal government to, uh, you know, kind of score over political opponents. Okay. Now, I, I don't approve of any violence by the police anywhere in the country. 
Hmm. I don't <laughs> accept that. But you must admit, what is happening in Bengal is at least six times more than any part of the country. Here, people, you cannot file an FIR against any Trinamool Congress people, workers. Right. I, I, I have to wrap up, but just to be fair on this panel, I have to give in a closing comment to Mr. Khan as well. Mr. Khan, very quickly, the BJP say they have lost 120 workers in the run-up to these elections. I'm sure you have a number as well. We do have a number, but we won't talk about number because the politics, the, the, the politics of dead body, it is what BJP uh, champions it. BJP likes this counting of dead bodies and claiming that, look, we have lost our people. Mm. Why did you not save those people? Mm. Why, did you, why did you allow those people to go into, to, to put themselves in a position where they might lose their life? You are the torchbearer. You are okay. the, running the party and you are allowing your foot soldiers to be in a position to go and create ruckus and do violence which will backfire them. Okay. Why is Dilip Ghosh, the Bengal BJP chief, consistently uh, in every other political, um, uh, every, every other public meeting, mm. asking his BJP political workers to go and create ruckus, go and beat police Tirnamul people, go and beat police people. Why are they inciting violence? Mm. It well, is we'll the BJP there, themselves gentlemen. who is inciting violence. We'll leave it there, gentlemen. Mr. Khan and Mr. Bose, thank you so much for joining us with your perspective on the story. Clearly not the last we've seen. Just a couple of months to go for West Bengal. We will be revisiting this story in the top of uh, our agenda as well.